Well, another Sunday, another project. Today's project is uh, it's starting to get nice and green out. And with that comes the weeds. So this is my old boom. It's about 11 feet long. And it sprays a pretty good swatch, uh, what, 12, uh, 14 feet maybe, 13 feet. <clears throat> Today's project is, is I'm converting that to an 8 foot and I'm going to cut the old beam in half and put wings on the side of this so I can go up to 20 feet on the tractor and uh, I've already uh, cut the holes in it for my mount. This is my mount. This mounts to the three to the uh, sprayer rather like that. I've made it where I can take it off so I can store it easier when I'm not using it. Um, this bolts right to the bottom of the uh, tank, which I will show you um, when I get this all together. So the first step was to drill the holes through it, put the mount on there. I've adapted these on there already. And the next step is going to be cutting this one basically in half and uh, attaching it to the ends. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. So, we got to find the center of this little jewel, which means we're going to run a ruler. Which means sixty seven and an eighth. If I remember right. What do they say? Measure twice, cut once. So let's split the difference. moved into the basement. I have a workshop in my basement. And right now what I've done is I've drawn the line to where I've got two booms going together. This is to make the pivot for the boom on the outside with the boom with the stationary boom. So I think I'm going to try this and I've got to drill eight holes on all these. And I've already in the process of them so I can get a good pilot hole using the drill press so I can get them all square. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so now we got to transfer these holes to the boom. That corresponds to Try to mark it. side and a snug I'll get the sides as I can. I'd like it to be not real stupid when I put it together. Back here. and should work out. Drill these. And of course I'm going to have to make them bigger in the final. Guys, the moment of truth. Let's see if I did these right or if I 
messed them up. You know what? I didn't buy. I didn't buy enough carriage bolts for this thing. Well, that stinks. So, I'm going to have to go back to the hardware store. Alrighty. Well, which side do we have? We have R. This is L2. It's going to go on the other side. So this is R2. He will go this side. We want R. Because these are kind of snug, which I wanted snug, but I have to maybe put a little bit bigger hole. This one. this one. So I think I'm going to go up one size more. Yeah, you know, it's a work in progress. Can't get everything right the first time. I think I'll just have to do the bottoms. I'm just going to have to do the bottoms of these, so I'll just have to do this side. Okay, let's try this again. bad. <laughs> so there would be one. have that on there and then we would end up sticking the boom sticking the boom on there Now the idea of this is, is that you can see that wall. So here's my beam. 
and actually that'll do really well so I can increase my deal so the part of that is you know, all this is that I want to be able to twist this when I pull these out and uh, this will bend over pivoting off of this one here so we're gonna to have to continue this in the shop, in the big shop. 